I'm overextended here. And this is one of the scenarios where you want to soak the lane instead of pushing the lane. And there's a different there's there's a difference between those things. Uh, we can actually talk about laning for a second. You guys want to talk about laning for a second? I think it'd be fun. So there's different ways of soaking lane. One of the when you're just soaking a lane, all you have to do is stand there. If you're hiding in a bush and you're letting the minion combat happen, the minions will eventually kill each other. And, you know, sometimes just due to the random nature of who gets hit and the amount of damage being done. Not always being a, a clean amount to finish off the minion precisely. One minion made might win. But you're just soaking the lane. That's all you're doing. You're just standing there. By doing that, you're not giving the team any um, vision of where you are. They can tab open and see your XP contribution and actually do that. Right? It's actually mod commands, I think. Exclamation mark mod commands. So you do that. And then that's just soaking. Pushing a lane is when you clear the wave faster than your opponent can clears it, and then you stay there. And you try and keep the wave alive. Um by harassing people out of the lane. Uh, Zagara does that really well. It's what we call bullying, right, as a rule. There's so another thing that's called freezing the lane. Freezing the lane is when you bully someone out of the lane, but don't clear the wave. You let that minion combat happen naturally, and you push the other person away from the wave so that when the minions die, they don't get the experience, but your team does, because you're standing right there. That's bullying. So you're freezing the lane, you have pushing the lane, you have soaking the lane. And we'll add one more um, that I feel gets underrated in a lot of cases, which is kind of defensively clearing the lane, maybe like anti-freezing. Um, Arthas is a good example of this. Arthas sort of waits nearby. He doesn't. He stays mounted if he can. He tries to do the soak thing. If he gets bullied out of the lane, instead he sustains, goes in, proactively clears the lane, and then backs up. He's not trying to push the lane. He's just trying to make sure he doesn't get denied. So he's he's in, he doesn't get bullied out of the lane. He's the anti-bully. Uh, that's a good example. Illidan's a good example of an anti-bully. He goes in with immolation, sustains off the wave, and then leaves. Sony is a good example of an anti-bully. She goes in with whirlwind, sustains off the wave, and then leaves. Right? They're not trying to push the wave. They're just trying to deny the bully from forcing them out of the experience. Generally, the way you deny a hero uh, from soaking the experience is with um, damage. Right? You, you push them out by threatening a lot of damage. So heroes with sustain are always anti-bullies in lane. So anyone can soak. Anyone with wave clear can kind of push. And anyone with a lot of single target damage can bully. And anyone with sustain is an anti-bully. Four categories, pretty simple. Oh, point here. Tychus has wave clear, but no sustain. Um, so if you're a Tychus, you want to clear the wave and leave, right? You don't want to stay there really far forward um, because without any sustain and without any um, with a very low escape you're just going to die if you happen to get rotated on by a high damage dealer who has the mobility to chase chase you which false dead certainly is 